There we go. Damn. So ineffective weapons. See, report to Thaler. Report for the Temerian Secret Service. I have no idea what's, who's the worst liar, Lorendo or his kin. The Mers brought here from the office of uh, Castellian after a scandal in Visima. Not one thing in the report is true. Dimitri is alive and the elves are, full, are well off. The Orvis has not left the... Uh, and has uh, even made a deal with some witcher. Furthermore, sees that Loredo brought some uh, remnants of salamandra here. Trafficking fish, uh, fish check for him. As if the money gets uh, from the fraud is not enough. The question is why the commander isn't afraid of the capital's wrath and begs an answer. Even excluding the fact that Loredo uses the chaos uh, caused by Foltest's death to his advantage, he is plotting high treason. I have no idea what his goal is, and I've no intention of finding out. Send a real spy here, it doesn't suit my nerves. And then he died. Alright, let's go for that. New sword. Let's head back to the troll. Got the head, and we avenged uh, his wife. Give vodka a dwarf. You drink too much. Your eyesight's shit. Why, Buck? I found your wife's head. My woman, I not forget. I give reward, but drink well till you give me kill man's head. We got a diagram. Give vodka. You drink too much. Why? I punished your wife's murderers. Mine? You'll find what's left of them at the cemetery. I find. Will you fix the bridge? Trolls true. Make sure your hands are steady when you do it. No drink more. Head in peace. We did it. We cured alcoholism. Now to get paid. Yeah. Bigger goals now. I guess the crisis ate away those 8,000 orans from the king. You owe me 200 orans. You'll get 100. Um, 
Why do we get a hundred? Listen, I made deals with you and the troll. He kept his word. You're trying not to. I haven't the coin. Sure you don't want to look a little harder? What if I don't find any? Then I'll look myself. This is robbery. Here, I hope you choke on it. Today I'll tell ye how it... Lobenden came to be. A long it... time ago our... To the scammers. He said 200. See, it's getting dark. I can meditate a little bit. There's a few more hundred. We can sell off a few. I don't want to touch the resources yet. How far away is that? I guess we can't do that. We need to find a place for it. Where is the cave then? Over there, alright. Where's the ruined hospital? Out there, alright. Let's go with the fight club. We can make some money there. Is the smith open? It does look closed. We need to see what kind of materials we need. Might make a list for it. Let me know what we can sell. My Let's boys see, won't give no fucking grief. They'll soon pay you back. King Ziggy ain't no thief. <laughs> Who does King Ziggy behold? Given any thought to my proposal? Give me the details. Only once you've made your mind up, my friend. For now, you'll have to make do with the lure of fame and coin. Or you can go on wasting your talents beating the dust out of drunkards around the inns. What do you say? I'm ready. I'll explain on the way. I'm Spit it out. Damn it. Know what Flotsam's famous for? Come on! Nothing. You're wrong there. There are only two towns worth visiting in the Pontar Valley. Bondar, famous for having the most beautiful halls in the north, and Flotsam, for having the best fist fight in scene. Who organizes these fights? Officially, no one. But look hard and you'll be surprised what you can find. It's a vibrant scene with winners and losers of all kinds. I, I promote fighters, place them in tournaments. Halt! Don't recognize King Ziggy? I know you, but who's the other one? He looks dangerous. Like all of King Ziggy's fighters. Well, that farmhand you brought in last time was carried out all broken in no time. This one will be different. You'll see. The Commandant himself will bet a fortune on him. All right. But if I'm to let him in, he has to leave all his weapons here. Fine. Fine. You're a rich man already. The weapons will be waiting in the trunk outside the gate. Laredo. In the flesh. Does he condone these fights? Condone? He sets them up. A lot of coin at stake here. I haven't been too lucky lately, but I believe you'll change that. 
people will remember King Ziggy. Just don't disappoint me. Yeah, well, let's just loot that around a little bit first. Sock it to him! Ziggy the Clown returns. And in grand fashion. I've got a contender who's about to be famous. The Monster Slayer? How'd you talk him into fighting? King Ziggy has his ways. All in all, looks promising. We're about to make Flotsam famous for its mug fights. They'll sing songs about Ziggy and Geralt. You just win, and I'll take care of the rest. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Grand. I'll hear you say my name with reverence yet. Twigs will be your first opponent. So cool because Bones snap with his every punch. I love these pussies with cocky names. Finish the fucker off! Suck it to him! We didn't get to bet any money on this. Stand your ground! Suck it to him! Beautiful job rearranging his face. Who's next? One punch Matho. Name says it all. Downs most opponents with his first punch. I'll see if I can't make him throw a second. Good luck. Stand your ground! Sock it to him! Stand your ground! You're the discovery of my lifetime. Think we're made for each other? Indeed, but we've a long way to go. Your next opponent is Smugface, also known as Tassel Dick. Not too popular then. He has tassels on his clothes. Last month, he bit his opponent's ear off. Bring on this Tassel Dick. Sock it to him! Finish the fucker off! Oops. Sock it to him. And that's his name. Finish the One more and we'll be rich and famous. Who is it? Stanek. In a rumble, it takes at least four lads to take him down. I'll do it single-handed. Don't underestimate him. Witcher, come here a minute. It's impressive technique. Thanks. Last fight's coming up, and everyone's betting on the dead cert. You. Except for me. What do you want, Benito? Stenek has to win, but the true winners will be you and me. A third of the jackpot's yours. And that's not an offer. Hmm. So he's asking us to throw a fight. Well, how much is the jackpot? 
We do need the money, that's for sure. No. I see. You're a regular con. Your opinions don't interest me. You ought to take a dive. That's that. Piss off, old man. Stand your ground! Oops. Sock it to him! Finish the fucker off! Pay up. Here's your coin. The guards will take you to the gate. You'll regret this. So I told you we'd win. I've got a real sense for these things. I think you owe me something. Why don't we have some fun first? A free round at every inn, not to mention the girls. You can screw my share. Okay, let's see. Almost getting there. I tell him, I'm taking your pants. What did he say? He said, there's a third option. Then his hand inched towards his knife. Nervy. What then? He got a bolt in the back. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant, too. You going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. The poor ones are all... He has quite a temper. With these cunts, Laredo can protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He succeeded so... A ballista. The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Hmm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rebel again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. All right. Nothing better than to think these drunkards protect people from the <laughs> What do you need, ugly? Ugly. Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But. I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just well, know, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? All uh, right. Just go with your specialty. All right. It'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. 
How much do you want? Oh wait. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Well, you got a deal. Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Not just yet. <laughs> Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. That one struts about. And Haven't we're had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. No passage. I don't like it. What you want, old man? I was looking to test my strength, arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. And if I win, you'll have beat a witcher. So I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good old fella? The Grey Wolf? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's begin. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast we Damn the dogs! The old man got me! I need to eat. Build up a bit. <laughs> There's one. Myron is next. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. I don't Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no necks. What do you want, mutant? To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I hate mutants like you. I know, I know. We get that a lot. Right, we did our part. Now she has to do her part. Hmm? Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little apple skipping down the path. Pram all, pram all. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Plow more, plow more. Oh, you are a fat, dirty, rotten scum. Plow more, plow more. Do that Your again. Oh, well fuck you, ma'am. Plow them all. Right. You've had your song. Let's go. Care for some real diversion. See, so can we go up there? Oh, no, what a shame. It's broken. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little apple skipping down the path. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in. Laredo's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Care for some real diversion? Yes. Do we wait until the honorable lady is done with the venerable hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. 
Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Good plan. Let's do it. Soldier, report to me immediately. What do you want? Oh no. Flotsam. We cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the Commandant wants to see you. Come on! Commandant, sir. We caught the witcher sneaking around the garden. No, no, Bring no, no, him no. in and leave. Yes, sir. That's we not were good. just discussing a certain matter. You here on business? Uh, no, 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 no. We can't do that. We need to get those treasures. We need, we need orans. What do you want? Shut it, yeah. soldier. Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life on the king's galley. Nothing Apologies, sir. I didn't realize. <laughs> As I see it, the entire garrison could use a lesson in discipline. Isn't that right? <laughs> sir! That's the attitude, soldier. The commandant will hear of this. In Flotsam, we oh. cut the hand. I didn't even see who spotted us. Maybe we should have used a cat potion before doing it. Then we can see them through walls. I think there was a pathway up here. There it is. Okay, let's hurry. No, 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 Flotsam. We can't get up there. In Flotsam. Where, where, where does it want us to go then? We can't go up there to the right. We can't knock him out. That's actually kind of strange. Why can't we knock him out? Do one or two more tries. If we can figure it out. It looks to be a way up. There is a way up. We set it. In flotsam. We set a position ourselves a little bit better.
in Flotsam. We have to get up to him. We have to get up to him to trigger him, otherwise he will not move. How far can we go before he turns around? We can't hide somewhere around here too. Hello. No. In flotsam. Okay, let's see. Let's wait for better timings now. We wait for him first. Go on, turn around. There we go. In flotsam, we cut the hand. It has to be possible. I, I guess it should be possible. In Flotsam, I was looking for. I don't think it is possible. He instantly turns around. There is not even an animation. Let's try to get up, otherwise, we are skipping it. Yeah. Flotsam. I... Commandant, sir. We called the witch. Bring him. Yes, sir. We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business, too? The Commandant wanted to see me. In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate. Though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. My enemy's enemy is my friend. We barely escaped with our lives the last time we ran into Yorvith. Damn squirrels draw ever nearer. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure. They eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. 
the hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Jorvik's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What do you want me to do? As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves, and dwarves will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. Uh, that is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander and you'll be rewarded generously. Straight from the trading post's treasury. All right. I'll see what I can find out. Now you stir up storms wherever you go. I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. Let's see, do you got any fancy stuff in here? Entry only on the Commandant's express orders. Off you go. No passage. There he is. Turned me away at the door, the bastard. Turned me away at the door, the bastard. We'll meet later. Don't forget your weapons on the way out. Like that. I tell him I'm taking your pal. All right, we're just going to be checking what we need for the armor. Let's see, meditate. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, actually, I'll just meditate. Let's go for like that. Character. Appear. And then there we go. Now we can spec us into something else. Magic, alchemy, swordsmanship. Let's just take a quick look. Geralt no longer takes 200% damage for stabbed in the back. Footwork, that seems good. Distance covered while dodging in battle 100%. That's pretty good. Sword damage, also useful. Unlocks ability to deal damage to many opponents. 
Vitality is always good. Chance of Insta Kill is always good. Critical effects, critical effects, more vitality. But alchemy. Bomb damage. A lot of bomb damage. They are kind of underwhelming, so. More vitality. Potion duration, that's good. Alchemy ingredients harvested, that is also kind of good. Not a must, but quality of life. Next of all, potions taken plus 15%. That's good. That's also not too bad. Want to focus on upgrading Quen quite a lot. That's hard. Sign damage. Nothing here. Quen. Quen again. I think we'll go with footwork on next level. So how Let's take a look at this. Eighteen hundred, and we need. We can actually afford it. We can actually afford all of it. There we go. Four orange. Okay, I don't think it wants to get paid for crafting. 
I hear... Oh, wait, it does. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hardened leather. Where are we finding that? It's a meteorite ore, that's not good. Silver ore. Okay. Rubber cloth. Necker cloth. Studded leather. We we'll have to find out how to get these ingredients. We need all of them in order for us to even use it. So we can't just craft a sword and be like, oh yeah, we will be good now. We use the sword, I believe, without the full set. We take damage every second or something. Or it's ineffective. I can't remember what it was. We need the full set. Okay, now we at least know what we can hunt after. So we just gotta find the diagrams and have them all crafted. Yeah, that's fine. So we even got a quest for it. Uh, that will be it for tonight. We'll continue with this tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central European Summer Time. Then we'll see. At least make that armor. We're going to need it before we're heading into Chapter uh, 2. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you all tomorrow. Until then, take care and good night. Bye.